It is a big and important day this Saturday, the 2024 Jody's race. It's all about raising awareness about gynecologic cancers like ovarian, cervical, uterine cancer and more. The annual one mile walk and 5K run benefits the Colorado Gynecologic Cancer Alliance. And joining us here to talk about Jody's race from the Alliance is Heather O'Connell. Thanks so much for being here. Tell us just a little bit more for those people that don't know at home about Jody's race for awareness and what it is. Well, it is a race to raise the awareness of gynecologic cancer throughout the U.S. There are about 1,500 people, women in Colorado, diagnosed with ovarian uh, or cervical or uterine cancer. And we want to make sure that their symptoms are made aware, they are made aware of the symptoms and uh, Truthfully, there is only one of those gynecologic cancers that actually has a screening test, and that is cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned symptoms. Obviously, it's Jody Turris for awareness. One of the biggest par parts of this is awareness, and so we're talking about symptoms. W what are they? I'm, I'm sure this is going to be a big part of this weekend, but now that we have an audience, w what right. are they? Yeah, and they are a little obscure, and mm -hmm. that's why we want to talk about them, sure. because they are, they are things that are experienced from, for women. Mm -hmm. um, Bloating, abdominal pain, feeling full quickly, excessive bleeding, um, the inability to eat because they're full. Mm -hmm. And again, those are kind of just symptoms, everyday kind of symptoms. But the key here is if these happen more than for more than two weeks or they're reoccurring. Mm -hmm. And obviously um, there, are, there are plenty of, of resources and you should talk to your doctor if, if you're dealing with, with a lot of those. Now, going back to the race itself, you've been involved for quite some time. Tell me about your involvement in your team a little bit more. Well, this is our, for our 15th year, mm -hmm. so it's, uh, it's celebratory for sure. It was started by Jody Brammeyer, who was a young mother completely taken aback by her diagnosis and believed that had she known what those symptoms were, they would have caught it earlier. And mm -hmm. that's why this race is important. I have been involved for 14 years. Um, it's just a great race. There are, the people in this organization provide so much support for not only survivors of ovarian cancer, but families that are going through a tough diagnosis like that. It's and, a very celebratory day. And you're seeing pictures from, from last year um, going through because it, it's, it's about awareness. It's about um, kind of making sure that people are aware, but also like, like you mentioned, celebrating those um, who have gone through and in some cases come out on the other side. So again, the, it's coming up this Saturday. We have the details for you in just one second. Heather, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank and you for, for having all us. that information. Okay, Jody's Race. This Saturday, it is at Denver City Park. Denver 7 is a proud sponsor. More information and online registration, that's available at jodysrace.org. Make sure you spell it right, J-O-D-I-S race.org.